John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Team Black Sheep Source Pod Racer Frame. This is the latest in a number of open source designs that Team Black Sheep has been blessing upon the community. But let's take just a quick second and notice like how cool this uh, very nice packaging is. It has the sort of blueprint graded design that all the source frames share. So this is a $26 racing frame. So these arms are actually identical. They're a dual arm. So if you don't like that, if you do like that, you know, you can come up with your own conclusion. There is the version that has singles, but I wanted to try this because I like sort of the built-in little bracing that, that is in this design. And since so it's going to be slightly lighter, I think Team Black Sheep has a long history and pedigree of blessing us with these frames, like the ultra popular source one freestyle frame that is really like a tank it is a go-to budget build staple like the recently covered source five box frame this vertical arm design is really cool we test some of those properties on the channel very recently go links in the description if you want to go check that out but this is going on another trend this is the trend of ultralight toothpick board running um, quads that are basically four or five inch and there are four or five inch versions of this there's also two this is the five inch this is the arms that are two in one so the arms kind of go like this u shape they're fused together and it's really simple and really elegant that the way that they have done this i really really like that there are only <laughs> three unique pieces of carbon to the frame and the pot so four pieces total and it's so it's really simple the arm is the same for the front and the back two arms come in this um, there's also a uh, one that has individual arms if you would prefer that i wanted to test this out um, because i do like sort of the little built-in bracing right here i feel like that's an important component to these ultralights and then team black sheep is using their super incredible injection molded game taking it to new limits this pod is quite striking when you first see it and it covers that toothpick mounting configuration perfectly um, i have that jh emcu board in there that i'm going to be building up putting some really nice sizable motors testing five inch t-mount props and see like can this really keep up with the five inch races that we are accustomed to? Can this injection molded pot, it feels really cool. It has just a tiny bit of flex, but mostly rigid. And that's kind of the formula that you want for these. Can it take a gate hit? Um, I do like the fact that they have put the camera mount in the rear. That's reminiscent of a frame that I've flown. Actually the uh, Russian company that made the Wombus Aerodyne RC. They made the wound bus, or later on they renamed it the Rex. And uh, that also had sort of a metal caged um, pod design that was machined out of aluminum and had the camera at the rear just like this. And that really gave you an excellent feel. In fact, the version of that that I flew was probably one of the best flying quads ever. I flew on very light 2205 motors, but it just had so much control. So I'm really looking forward to see if this camera position is also going to give you a little bit of that back. I like that it has, in addition to the camera at the rear, um, a little spot right here for your antenna. If you're using like a SMA stubby, really like if you're using something like an Axi. And then at the back right here, it has a really nice little shelf for your mortal T. So of course you're gonna be wanting to run crossfire in this. And it's just kind of a shelf. I like this design. And because it's rigid, you'll probably just zip tie that immortal T on there, right there. So some unique things that we're being able to get out of having an injection molded canopy as, you, as opposed to the printed ones that we typically make. So I'm waiting on a few components to get this build going, but I'm really excited about it. We're gonna put that JH EMCU 30 amp board to the test. So stay tuned guys for the full build up on this. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. What do you think in the comments? Are you going with these ultra lights? Um, I think if you're gonna go with something like this, that's a racing style, you really wanna look at this or the Racer X Twig series. They have a variety of three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, 
out there uh, or this new Team Black Sheep pod. I'm looking forward to really testing a few new things in this build. So great job on this Team Black Sheep for coming out with inexpensive racing designs, freestyle designs that allow us to test these concepts for an inexpensive price and have parts plentiful. It should probably be no problems. I really like, look at, look at the end of the arm right here. Look how much motor protection you have on this. When you're running these smaller motors, that's one of the reasons why we don't race with three or four inch that much. And that's because typically these small frames don't have very much motor protection and typically they cannot take a hit. The motors just cannot take a hit the same way that some five inch would. So these should be really good in that regard. Looking forward to it. Thanks guys.